so uh we're gonna kind of pick things as it were i've done everything that i can for the most part for everyone else to move things through so you'll be putting a bit of catch up on there with them um first and foremost you may notice the bar somewhere around that's going to have your ac hp and pp passive perceptions um click that instead of your token and it opens it up um it's a there's mainly a dm tool i can see everything for everyone rather than printing shit off but at the same time it also gives you a idea of any tokens that you may control and also a quick glance at your sheet the little ambulance is health i feel there's a way to change that <laughs> somewhere like <laughs> just the list oh like it's um it's um monk's token bar edit the stats attributes hp and then it gives you a list of every fucking emoji all in like eight pixels by eight pixels in a massive line like a massive booklet thing so trying mm -hmm. trying to find the exact you know just a little heart uh it's very hard especially when none of them are in color so we we'll try one more time real quick before we go oh it does have all the dice that's nice i'm blind i'm blind i'm definitely blind that's a hand oh there we go there's a little heart right there uh And boom. It won't get a little hard now. So, let's see, four on one hand. Huh? Where at last we, or yourself, had rather left off the town of Callum. Nope, the town of Vogler. Besieged, attacked, destroyed. With it, not much you could do in that regard. Tried your hardest. Ultimately, however, you met a fate akin to almost everyone else in your team. Scorched up, burnt up, and lying left for dead. As it were, you found yourself at some point later on on a boat. Covered. Your burn marks slowly taken care of. Floating down the river. Over the next day, you pass in and out of consciousness as you would after having such a devastating blow. You are, however, one of the first to awake. And as you enter this nice new area, you can see off in the distance the large walls of Calaman. And there's a photo to go with this. You are a distance away. However, these walls are toweringly huge. In it, as you are coming out of the boat onto shore. There are not as many people around right now. There are tents being built up. And people know that there is some safety. It is quite early in the morning though. As you look around there are all manner of people building up tents. Kids running around trying to entertain themselves with all manners of mischief. Some people know what they've lost. Other people clearly trying just to forget. To the west, the two mile hike, is the city of Calaman. To the east, all manner of wilderness. Awaits. What do you wish to do? Given you are burst out of the boat. Your friends all no. very much asleep and knocked out. Melina would probably try to help the refugees in any way she can. 
to get situated at least. Yep, so... As you are. I've been looking around, trying to help a few people. You know, pitch a few tents, help build the small campfire and such for people to warm themselves around. There are manner of elderly people who do take to the fire immediately to stay warm. And it, I'll say over the next hour, hour and a half, more and more boats with more and more refugees do seem to come in and situate. You do help them through, help them sit down, go over everything. Just realize yeah. that as a considerably smaller token. <laughs> <laughs> Those guards are tiny in comparison. Calaman, short stock, what can we say? Yeah. As it were. Let's say there's a large majority of boats. You also note that many people who were in the town, people of note, are still no longer here. Are no longer here. Or still not with you, rather. And the ensuing amount of boats that come through, you can kind of make off from the distance what you believe to be the mayor on one boat. However, at no point do you see Cudgel or Darrett or Becklin or Jeb. You're comrades, their boat gets moored to the dock. They still lie there. However, everyone seems quite contented with what they have to do, and what they should be doing. Is there anything else you wish to do after that, say, hour or so? I don't know what should I be doing. Do you not remember your session zero? I do, I do, but yeah, let's go, let's ask, um, let's go towards the walls of the city, I guess, <laughs> trying to find the entrance. You could make a religion check and ask God. <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> we'll see as you walk. Statues of titanic soldiers lay in Calamon's walls. These ancient stone knights stare into the distance, daring adventurers to dash themselves against its defences that have withstood even the cataclysm. A disorganised neighbourhood of tents and ramshackled structures line the road cities, line the road next to the cities at the gate, where soldiers in blue and yellow uniforms question everyone who tries to enter the city. As it does a Younger looking guard approaches yourself, halberd in one hand, shield in the other. He kind of stops, you know, looks you up. Uh, are you with the refugees or are you just visiting? Both, I guess. And what is your reason for visiting other than seeking refuge? I was told to meet Wihen here. Wihen? Guess is as good as mine. He <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks. Yes. Uh, uh, Rowena from Rowena from the what was it? The High Sorcery sent me to meet him. Yes, uh, she has a store here in town. If you are to visit her, then as long as you do no harm and cause no trouble, you shall be fine by us. He's gonna looks up and raises his hand. You watch as the gates start to clink and chunk open. A fair amount, not all the way. These are very tall gates, but. Enough that were it to accidentally fall, you'd still be able to get in without any issue. Okay, thank you. 
as you enter the city. It is a rather cramped, sorted affair. Everything is still quite kept neat and civil. Nothing too dirty, nothing so wrong, I suppose. As you are looking around for the most part, you can tell that this is a trade city. You can find all manner of things here. As it were. Okay. I'll ask him the direction to the sh to we can shop, I guess. Ah. Uh, you watch. Comes over him. Go in. Take your. Third left. And when you see the town part, take either parting, and she's at the end of the street before the next part once more. Which puts it here. Thank you. Much appreciated. Thank you. As look on through it, we'll see you do pass a few many a things. Yeah, it's a hundred foot of square, scariest thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> you can see from where you are. Where's it? Oh, yeah. Ah, I did miss a complete whole box for you. I do apologise. World City of Kalaman rises in the distance, bound across a wide bay. Ships and all such come in from the harbour. And on the shore ahead, the Vanguard River meets Kalaman Bay. Dozens of survivors, such as yourself, have began making camp as you are going through this city. However, you can see, even if the castle did not stand atop a hundred foot cliff, it would still tower over everything you've ever seen in your life. This huge, imposing structure rises up over the city, looking over everything. Clearly the tallest thing in the city. Overlooked only by the gigantic statues on the city walls. It's everywhere you go. Everywhere you are. The city is, the castle is always just in your peripheral. Interesting. It's an interesting piece of architecture. It had the town had to be planned around the castle, though. For it to be like overlooking everything. I just feel sorry for the poor guys that built it. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> they had to make it sure that, ev that every house could see it, basically. No, they had to claim a cliff. Oh, that's that's true. And all the building materials brought up to the cliff. It's like building the pyramids. The first level, the first two or three levels. Yeah, it's not too bad. You got one guy on the 76th level looking up 100 foot like... Fuck. How, how did, we get how how did they manage to... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I ain't a crane operator. <laughs> they they did it all by hand. So the one you believe, but in actuality, it was the aliens. The aliens helped. Refueling Might stations. Be true. <laughs> <laughs> Might be true. Might not be. Discovery Channel. Oh, sorry, History Channel would make you think otherwise. <laughs> but yeah. You know, this is the one thing yes. I didn't populate. Oh, no time like the present. <laughs> uh, oh, I realise one of my big mistakes here as well. Once as you are going down, walking through it, mm -hmm. you know, for the most part, everything's good, quiet, fine. Everyone seems to mind their own. No one seems to have any issues or such with anything. 
I imported this map and my dumbass made the distance 1 instead of 5. So, you know, every square being 1 foot sounds good. <laughs> until you remember that every square is 1 foot. 100 foot. No, 1. 1 foot, okay. It does, however, make a 30 foot room 30 foot. But, you know... So, as you are walking through, walking down, you do eventually come to a rather large shop in the middle of the street. It's partially walled off. There are all manner of people around. As I hastily paste them in. <laughs> From where it is in the town, this small little shop seems to have a spruce of nature to it, more than anything. It is welcoming, to say the least. With people paying the shop, no hints. But it is still there, and you do, as you walk up, you do smell rather sweet smells. And you look through the yeah. garden round in the corner, you can see it has a very vibrant and well kept garden. Everything here, however, is clearly built with purpose in mind. As it's not fruits and vegetables, but very particular herbs. And you can imagine being material components. I like, like, like herb smells or something. So she just take, I just take a deep breath and just enjoy for a few seconds. I can tell it is a rather sweet, pungent smell, quite peppery, tickles almost, and sort of sweetness. You can't quite place it just yet, but it is a familiar smell. Yes, I'll enter. He's gonna open the door. You are washed over once more with the smell from the outside, now much stronger and concentrated. You can click. The sweetness is that of licorice. The small, modest shop here has a few meagre tables displaying odd charms, old bones of animals. You can't quite place those animals even if you tried, but. There are veils of veils that seem to advertise various remedies of particular things. At the counter of the shop. And I know straight as soon as I open this up, it's not going to give me the image that I want. God damn right, it's not going to give me the image that I want. Because that's too much like, hard work for this. <laughs> At the desk of the shop. A human woman with raven hair and a dark dress with rather feathered and wing-like sleeves stands behind the counter heaped over some books. And she kind of looks up for just the briefest of moment. You see as her eyes seem to draw to you with the utmost disinterest before going back to her book. Excuse me, but are you Wehan? Yes, I am Wyan, the name's on the store, and who else would I be? I was given a scroll to deliver it to you, from it's... Rowena. Give it here. Here you are. No, just to check. Have you opened the scroll? No. Then I assume you are a rather neutral and good person. I guess so. She gonna 
holds the scroll. Doesn't even open it. Red places it on the table and it opens it up. As he does in the middle of the page. Red robes. You are part here of the red robes. But for this, I must ask, why, oh why, oh why do you think you're even worthy of using magic? Kind of flips the page on her book, stop barely looking at you whilst asking these questions. Mm. I wouldn't say I'm worthy, but I'm trying to be worthy of the magic I was born with. Born with a gift, you feel that you have to give back to the world when you could just be so selfish to keep it for yourself. And do you serve the magic? Or does the magic serve you? Flex the page once more. I guess both. Let me rephrase. Um, Are you a slave to the magic or is the magic a slave to you? I mean, I use it, but... I don't often use it for myself. I mostly use it for to help other people and to survive, I guess. So you use it for yourself. And how would you change the world with this magic that you seem to help other people but help yourself with a almost contradiction to yourself. Well... How, I guess try to make the world stronger. Oh, we have a hero on our hands. And tell me, hero, if you were to lose your magical touch. What would you do with the rest of your life? I guess I would still try to do the same as before, just without magic. Learn new skills. Learn how to survive in a different way. <sighs> As you watch as she takes her hand and kind of starts smearing over the scroll. I... I recommend what the scroll has said. You would be suited as a red-robed mage of high sorcery. If you wish to continue your studies we can make you a full-fledged member if you wish i will petition on your behalf and i will contact you when the time is right Right, thank you. <sighs> Do you have any other questions? You can also now take your level up. Okay, um... The town 
Sorry, I'm, try I'm trying to think of a question. Hmm. Take your level up, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying that. I'm doing that. <laughs> so yeah, that's the level up on there. Done. It does also see a bit of them. So, as that one there, she kind of looks at you. Do you wish to join as a full-fledged member of the Mages of High Society? High Sorcery. What... What will be required of me? More trials. If I were more to tests, join. Shaping the futures and... All that. A whole lot of politics, hunting renegades, punishing renegades, helping the future sorcerers, wizards, warlocks and bards. All of the things that come with bureaucracy. Not to put it in a term for you, helping the greater good on a minuscule scale. Yeah, okay. That doesn't sound that bad. Yet, I guess. I guess I'll continue on the path that I've chosen. Then I will... Seek arrangements for transport to Weyreth when the time comes for you to undertake your test. Did you take average HP? Um, rolled. Why did it roll twice? I cancelled the first finalization by mistake, so the six should be the correct roll. So minus two. This value is being modified and cannot be changed. It's wild magic, HP increase. Uh, we'll just take the eight. Fuck it. <laughs> I have, I have the recording to go off off to change things as need be anyway. Yeah, I'm just gonna see it twice and like, what the fuck? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> anyway. I will pass these over in due course. Until then, would you like a change of robes to signify, or are you happy wearing what you're wearing? I am wearing, still wearing my princess robes. I guess it's time for me to fit in. So yeah, I guess I would like the robes. So you watch she kind of stands up, opens the door behind her, and she does. She kind of rifled around before looking at us. You know, old and baggy-ish looking set of robes. Uh, she do. She just kind of throws them out the door into the desk. So you're gonna land. Pff, they are. They're clean, but they're also old. They're not, you know. Not many people come in to do this. And she kind of looks. This will signify who you are to us and what you wish to do. You can wear these around, you can make a sash, make a hat, do whatever. However, when you attend you. ceremonies, it is 
recommended you wear the appropriate coloured robes at all times so as not to confuse rank. So, white. Yeah, white. I said red because I stood next to red and I'm an idiot. Do not worry. <laughs> um, for some reason, I can't open my character sheet. I'll just, I'll just refresh real quick. Yep. Unless you do that, I will put the look for an image. Ah, oh, damn, the image in there. That's shit. Right? Give me a sec while you do that, then I'm going to jump to the toilet. This episode's going to have a lot of energy! There's an image in the book that's like really good to show what the robes would look like, um, but it ain't in the fucking the thing here. They kept every other image though, which was also nice of them. <laughs> I'm still loading in. Here, skills tough, what what what. You can be this is gonna take a moment. Yeah, like maybe my internet is also bad again. It's still loading. It's showing you loaded in down the bottom for me. But be fair, my shit's also been real slow. Yeah, I'm still grey grey screen. Good time there's no mad mage this week, you've been a grey screen all month. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> there's no mad mage this month, don't worry. I'm gonna no, miss not it. This month, this, not this month, this week. There is mad no, mage. No, I'm... I'm, I'm... <laughs> no more mad <laughs> this month, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I... It was there'll, there'll be mad mage. There'll be mad mage next week, uh, like on Friday, uh, Saturday for you and I. Where we have simply only taken a long rest. The downtime is not that long. It's no longer a safe environment. Blame Richard. Blame Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Worse for loading in and because this will be edited out anyway. Do you know what he you know what he's done to me this morning? He messaged me and he said what? I wanna create this thing with my artificer stuff if you'll allow it. I'm like, okay, what is it? He's like, it's a ball with a magic mouth spell inside with a pre recorded message. I'm like, okay, he's like, I wanna use catapult to launch it at people. So that way they can hear the message. I looked into it. What? Catapult only has a 90 foot range. Do you know what else is 90 foot? Mm. Do you? Message? Do you... No. Not 120. No, um. A basketball court. From end to end is, a, is, is 90 foot. Also, <laughs> funnily enough, most of the places you're in in the Undermountain are about maybe 10 to 20 foot wide. 
So you can have a rather loud conversation over 90 foot with someone because narrow walls, narrow ceiling, length, echoes. And I'm like, my, my guy, that's a waste of two leveled spells right there. Because you can arguably have a conversation at 90 foot away from someone. <laughs> have you ever shouted at someone from the other end of a basketball field? Basketball field? Basketball mm, No, haven't had the chance to. Also, if I'm not mistaken, the cantrip message lets you speak to someone in their head. Yeah. And it's a cantrip. It, that it is. And it's 120 feet. <laughs> so, like... You know... People that play artificers fucking drive me up the wall. I'm a ban artificers. I'm assuming we're still on a grey screen. No, I just loaded in. I'm back at my character sheet. Then, as things were and as things are, you are. Standing there with your nice white robes. So I'll get you an image of so you can see. Um, I'll get them fucking 5e. Yeah, I'll get, I'll get them. In fact, you know where I can get them? I can probably get them on DD &D Beyond for you a little easier. Yeah. As you are standing there, she kind of looks at you. Anything else you wish to know? Any other information that I could particularly assist with? Well, can you pass on information to your to the other mages of high sorcery? I could include it in my letter. Why? And I. Tell her about what happened in Vogler. Oh, we are acutely aware of what happened. Oh. There have been... Talks. Though many people do not wish to admit there have been talks. There have been talks. Rumours circulating of other groups of people suffering similar things around multiple regions of the world. Numerous armies cropping up, each with rather strange powers and odd looks turning of the fort now oh that's that's a nice robe actually the red one is braided the black one makes you look like a night hag <laughs> <laughs> well the white one is also braided a bit and lace or wool i don't know uh, crochet. Yeah, I get that. I can see that. To the south, they seem to have some frost creatures. And around here, apparently fire. It's odd. But... The mages will interject if they see necessary. Until then, this is a military affair. Mm. We tend to keep out. And of if I. True, but what if. This, these creatures attack the world, the politics themselves, like 
places where there are important politics happening. If the mages feel they should get involved, they will. If they are petitioned to get involved, they will discuss. And if individual mages are caught up in it, well, you can use your own discretion. If you feel you should fight back, then by all means, hero, save the world. We're not gonna scold you. Don't you don't want it to be saved? I have no aspirations to be a hero by all means, but I will stand my ground and fight if I have to. I will not go out and seek the fight for all manners of glory. And for one as yourself will do wise to learn. And maybe in time your wisdom will kick in, but would I not be better here protecting a town than out there fighting a front line? A town with a rather large castle, a seat of power, a major trading hub. Why would I do better outside when I could do more inside? When I did not... not mean anything by it, you just seemed a little bit pathetic. Yes. To the to these creatures attacking. Because they're attacking places that are not here, and other people's concerns are not my concerns. When something becomes my concern, then I'll show more interest. But until then. The only thing that seems to be passing through my doors are people looking for all manner of, you know, ways our arm around components. If the city were attacked, then yes, I would be up in arms. Until then, it was a town two days away, and I should be. Expecting refugees looking for all manner of things to aid in manners of the apothecary. Do you want any help? Uh, I don't require any right now. You are the first person to grace these doors in that many hours. If the time comes where I do require your assistance, though, I will reach out. Thank you. Thank you. And I guess we'll see each other again sometime. Perhaps. Or he from each other. Maybe. Who knows? Until then, though. Until then. Enjoy. I'll try. I'm just gonna leave the smells of sweet pepper and licorice. I'll do in a minute. They are strong, you can tell they are coming from the gardens and all manner of things. With it, however, the rest of the day is yours. I guess I'll return back to help the refugees. Yeah. Until my party members wake up. By this point, your party members have left. Ah. And then I'll ask the ref. You're After like your... I've held the refugees a bit, I'll ask where they've left or something. <laughs> You're on your own separate side mission and you don't come up at all in their whole thing, so like... <laughs> you, you have 
two days to do whatever the fuck you want mm, in this random yeah. city. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll keep helping the refugees, because I don't know what else to do. And that's, I think, that's where I'm going to be most useful with magic and everything. Yeah, then. We'll say to run things in a way. For a long period of time throughout the day, you do, in fact, help the refugees. You also manage to always somehow completely miss your party as they are also in the city at this time. And around, as refugees do come into the city, you do give them a bit of assistance around, helping them find mm -hmm. their way, find their places, and going back to the camp and such. You do also see that it is now a sprawling refugee camp with all manner mm. of things going on. More little fires, more worried faces, more people. You do also see now a contingent of guards walking around. They seem to be keeping the peace, though their job doesn't seem to really be required, shall we say. As it were, you are at the camp. And I will say unless there's anything else you want to do, we can kill day one. Yeah, sure. Let's just kill off day one. Oh look, it's nice and bright again. <laughs> <laughs> As it were, the guard and such are in the, the guards that are in the camp. With it, you wake up late. They're the most. And what do you wish to do with that? I guess I'll start asking to find my party members where they were seen last and try to make my way over there. I will say as you do, see the mayor. And it's just to be getting into things is you ask her, she kind of looks at you. If I recall, they were headed back into town. Um, how much of what's transpired do you know not much it's all a bit foggy um you might want to read this she hands your scroll thank you and i guess i'll read it as you read the scroll, it states, in a particular bit, I don't want to fuck things up for you. Mm. States, <clears throat> you, the people of Vogler, swear to us. The Governing Council of Calaman and myself, Governor Mayat, that you shall uphold the tenants agreed upon below in favour, uh, in response. You agree below the tenants below. You, uphold, you agree to uphold the tenants below, I'm fucking word mincing, in order to secure safe refuge for the people of Vogler. It then states the people of Vogler will be given protection. The leaders of Vogler shall also be given protection. In this 
the people of Vogler will be allowed to set up a camp close to the gates of Calaman, where they can live out the rest of their lives or until such time as the war has ended whichever comes first for this deal you agree to take up arms for Calaman and join the Calaman military under Marshal Verdi or Marshal Vendry as a special Marshal Vendry Vendry so uh, V instead of B you agree to take up arms as part of a special forces for Marshal Vendry yep okay in doing so you will report back to her you have faced the foe and saved the people of an entire village from their attack. We know woefully little information about this foe and all of our scouts have disappeared. You will become Esquires of Calaman and paid five gold per week. You will receive free lodging at Castle Calaman. You will be given a palm sized blue and gold emblem, sim emblem symptomatic of Calaman and etched into its face shall be the Calaman Crest of Arms. The symbol is your special rank akin to that of a lieutenant. You do not need to wear this on any particular clothing or armour. You just need to have it in case ever questioned on rank and authority. In doing so, even if you were to die Tomorrow, the people of Vogler would still remain, and our end of the deal would be held up. Right. You, you see two second. You see two little boxes. One signed, Governor Mayat. And she looks round the mayor of Vogler. I think. Everyone signed that for one reason or another. Um, fair warning, Baracus also signed it. Why would that be a fair warning? Because it's Baracus the Elder and his son. Oh, yeah. Th uh, yeah. Bakara, sorry. Cart. Baracus is the guy from the Bible, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone signed it and they're all currently at the castle. They also have a new friend. She's different. Different how? Good or bad? Kenda. Kenda Paladin. It's strange. <laughs> so that's Baralis. Ah. Uh, Bryn. There's a Bryn. There's a Bryn. Which is Macaron. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But yes. I guess I'll sign it too. It's you. Scroll down on it. I recommend you maybe get to the castle as quickly as possible then. Um, they... They all met there this morning after having signed these documents. And, um... We haven't heard from them since. We don't think anything bad's going to happen, but we haven't heard from them. All right, I'll guess. I guess I'll go check on them. 
and we'll see as you leave you run down towards the castle the town it takes quite a while you know I mean, yeah i went like 700 feet out the wall and then two i have miles, to like two miles plus <laughs> yeah <laughs> no it's too much but as you sprint on down and through you do manage to make your way in through the castle where people do give you directions as it were I do have a thing for this gates lodging 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 I do have a thing for this as you over here as you come up the stairs you will hear Derek talking about how you will be reporting to him who will report the information back he is not a commander and your relationship has not changed you stand outside the room waiting for such a thing a nice moment to interject okay as it does you hear Dart speak for your first order of business. I wrote it down. <laughs> See, pulls out the paper. We were distressed to hear the reports of the events that happened to the town of Vogler, and once more you have our deepest sympathies. We thank you for taking us up in the offer and wish now to pass forth a mission unto yourselves. From what you have told us, there is a great dragon-like beast at the battle when you evacuated Vogler. It's my understanding that this thing is enough destructive power to even render a hundred men useless. We would like to know more about this device. Some 12 miles south of the City is a gnome inventor. Her name is Tatiana Ruckeldust. Tatina Ruckeldust, rather. We believe she may know of a device or similar device. Even if she does not know what we wish to speak about, or the inf even if she does not know what we speak of, we still wish to speak with her, as her insight could be useful in the upcoming battles. Go speak with her see what she knows and try bring her to our side the roads ahead should be fine and your journey should take less than a day on horseback regards marshal nestra vendry i will get the thing for that so does you hear your friends all agreeing or you hear Derrett, you have until noon to leave. Leaving any time after noon, you would not get back until the morn. And in doing so, it would be... It would be hard to get into the city. Is everyone gonna... Yeah, chorus of okays and such, is he... Walks out. And he does, you know. Sees yourself. Moves over to the side and. I can only move the token so far. Moves over to the side and echoes you in. As you do, you see a rather rounded, large bunking room. Table in the middle and some maps. Yes, uh. uh this is your barracks. You can stay here now. Do enjoy. Please. We believe you will have some fun. And I realise I have not changed the fucking map. Ain't no DM like me. Ain't no other DM like me. <laughs> it's 
just you guess so. Um, you do, you see everyone in various stages of undress getting dressed. As I avert my eyes. <laughs> As it were. It is currently 9 a.m. And that sets you up greatly for tomorrow. Yay! Only really caught up. Now I just need to remember that you have now upon you quite mage ropes. Yeah, I already like imported like ropes as traveling traveling clothes like just yep. normal clothing or white robes of high sorcery I named them yeah that works I guess it's that there session 2, session 3, session 4 boom, boom, boom. and stop